Hello and welcome back to another episode of Tractor Boys Cloud to the Top. Since you were last here for the 2-0 win over Wolves, it's been a pretty bad start for us. We went to Cardiff and lost 2-0 with Schlup and Pookie getting the goals for them. We then played Southampton in the second round of the Carabao Cup and lost 3-1 with White getting a penalty, uh, Lundalu getting a goal for them and uh, Jeff Genepo Parrot getting a goal for us. We then played a Brighton at home and lost 2-0 with Curtis Jones and Mohamed getting a goal for them. And we had a 2-2 draw with Leeds. With Rodrigo getting their two goals and uh, Evanusek and Pellegrini getting the goals for us in those games. We are here for the Aston Villa and the Burnley game today, but before we get into that, we've got some transfer news to talk about. Okay, so here we are with the transfer business. So since you were last here, this was pretty much where we were up to here on the, on the ins and here on the outs. Uh, we have sold Triore for 1.1, potentially rising to... 1.3 to be honest he weren't going to get the game time that he wanted here and you know, he's not exactly premiership material so we sold him we got the 1.1 million which we kind of needed which obviously went towards getting a Venusek in for 8 million let's look at him now and he is basically our leading cam despite what it says he's three and a half star current ability four and a half star potential 23 years old, two caps for, for Croatia already, and he looks pretty damn good. And we've got two decent three, three and a half star cams that have come in to do the job, hopefully, this season. Now, what else we got? Reports. He's apparently no better, no. Apparently, he's only good for championship, but potential to be premiership. I kind of disagree. Seems to be a pattern with all our players at the moment. And then these three here, I'm not going to go into great detail. They're literally backup players. The crappy two and a half star goalkeeper come in to back up, obviously, Walton. A crappy winger here, just just again for backup. I don't know, I don't even know why I, I did that for. And then this young central midfielder here, which we will take a look at. He's three and a half star with five star potential. And playing the deep line playmaker role, which is what we kind of want. He's come on loan from SLB, I believe. Yep, SLB. So, yeah, that's it. That's all the transfer news we've got to go over. Let's get into today's action, shall we? Welcome back, and here's the team sheet for the game against Aston Villa. We have uh, Walton in goal, Vandalin, Simican, Holmes, and Banderson leading the back line. With uh, Dantas and Downs as the middle two pair, and with Kante in front of them in the advanced playmaker role, with Zebelos and Zakiri on the wings, and Parrot leading the line up front. And let's get on with the action. Here we are with the dressing room, and we will just. There's not really much I can do at the moment because we've not got anything going. We keep getting these as well. I admit criticism that you have struggled to be. As defensively secure as the board would like. Will you see any improvements on that front today? I don't know. Look, I want us to defend as well as we attack. It's just not always that easy. It isn't always that easy. I can't give an, oh, an appropriately definite, detailed answer to that right now. At the end of the day, winning is the most important thing. Everything else is second to that. It's all about balance. We need to attack too, remember. I want us to be defensively secure too. We've done not done that well in that regard, and we have to improve. And I'm not really that bothered. At this. Just, just, just leave me alone. Stop doing these tunnel interviews. It's these things that affect their mentality. Oh great! Look at that. Straight off the bat, and security's gone and got injured. Okay, Dennis, come on down, please. Ugh, not what I wanted. Here we go now. I can't seem to get rid of this bar for some reason. I don't know why it's up. It's a bug. Here we go now. Parrot now. I went away there for a second and then it just comes back up. Should not be here. Go away. Uh, he's supposed to be here now, but it shouldn't have been there. Holmes has a yellow card. And this is going to be a poor game. 
Vanderson now. That's a dirt ref. Send him off from behind. It's not a penalty. It's a free kick. But it should be a red card because that was dirty. He only gets a yellow. I oh, know that was. Was it? In Greenish? Done that tackle? I don't know. We'll see. No penalty. I knew that. It's the card I want. I want to see that red. Oh, what a dirty challenge. Filthy. And we're still, we're not in relegation or anything at the moment. I didn't check that, did I? I didn't show you our league standing, so here it is. <laughs> there we go, first half. Boring. Uh, let's give the fans something to cheer about. suppose everybody's just nervous. I'm not surprised we're playing in the Premier League, man. It's, it's difficult stuff. Difficult stuff. We will get there eventually. Vanderland, Zebelos, into Parrot, Parrot into De De Dennis, and Dennis save, he was offside anyway, so it doesn't make no difference, but a nice little bit of play there, thinking about bringing on Pellegrini in a minute, for Parrot, um, anything else, maybe, possibly, oh, I can't take you off, can't take you off, no, I don't want to take you off, so with Vanderland's on the ball, Dennis getting it into Downs, Downs to Zebelos, so unfortunately can't do anything, but and then down shoot off the crossbar. Oh, you my god. Here we go now. Aston Villa. Is that our highlight? It is Vanderland, Dentes. Vanderland into Downs. Over the top to Dennis. Come on, Dennis. Gives it to Vanderson. Downs on the ball now. Into Parrot. Parrot. Oh, I just can't put it away. Okay, Parrot. Time for you to come off, dude. Where's Pellegrini? Brilliant, fantastic. Can't take you off. Can take you off. For Fernandez. I like you, Fernandez. That's it. Subs are done. Free kick. Penalty! That's a penalty! Who have I got my penalty set to? I, need, I don't even know. Set pieces. Penalties. Add penalty taker. Who's our best one? Holmes is, isn't he? In, like Holmes, our best penalty taker. I'm just gonna see who who it picks. Who's it picked? Zebelos is is taking the penalty. He puts it away. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. I mean, we have been the better. What, what was that all about? Did you see that? I disappeared. I need to get this thing to disappear during the highlights. Still comfortably put away. We have been the better team. Look at this, 63% possession. Okay, now can we just hold out and get that victory? We can. Yes, we can. Brilliant, fantastic. It's nice to actually see that we got a, wa a win. A one. A win. <laughs> the result sees Ipswich shoot right up the table. You've got to be happy with that. It's just one game, dude. Come on. Yeah, I'm going to be the, the, the normal dude and say, yeah, we need to be careful of complacency. Just get off my back. There we go. Sorted. They really like giving me these tunnel interviews. Every sing I've had one nearly every single game. I think the only game I didn't get one for was the... I had one for the Brighton game, I had one for the Leeds game, I had one for Southampton game, and I, yeah, I've had one for every single game, I did have one for the Cardiff game, every game, we're going to get into the next game, welcome back, and here's the team sheet for the game against Burnley today, we have Walton in goal, Vanderland, Simakan, Holmes and Vanderson, Please let me know if I'm saying this dude's name wrong. I have no idea. Dantas, Downs, the double D, middle pair in the midfield with Vanusek in the advanced playmaker role. Zebelus and Dennis on the wings and Parrot leading the line up front. So let's get into the action, shall we? Here we are in the dressing room. 
we've got nothing to lose here we know how good we are let's show everyone else what we are capable of seems like a good thing to say nobody expect us to get a result play without pressure now we're not doing that with the underdogs give the fans up no we're not doing that i'm actually gonna go with this one we're gonna point the finger and there we go one player seems motivated and that's the goalkeeper another tunnel interview i've had these every game yeah he's been working hard let's get on with it uh kante's recent injury problems contributed to his absence today no he's just on the bench i mean he's got to work for it and at the moment he didn't work for it in the last game did he so we'll skip and let's get on with the action hopefully some action okay first highlight of the game 10 minutes in Vanisek on the ball gives it to Vanderson, then to Dennis. Dennis up top over to Parrot. Parrot's going to score. Is he going to score? He does score. Simple little cheeky chip. Well done, you cheeky Parrot. And we are 1 0 up against Burnley in the Premier League. In the Premier League. Okay, skip. So here we go now. We've got another highlight. 17 minutes in. It looks like it's going Burnley's way. Haggy get it to. Um, Chidera, Zevalos deep, deep possessing him, and he's running forward with the ball now. Puts power through. Can he get a second? He doesn't. Great save by the Burnley goalkeeper there, but he does manage to get a cross in, and it's cleared away. Torres now for Burnley coming forward. He puts it out to Haggy on the wing. Haggy come forward now with it, and he's oh what? That better not be a penalty. It's a corner, yeah. No, it's nothing. Roberts now Cork for Burnley. Whips it over to uh, Chidera. Don't know that other dude's name. Torres with a shot and Walton with a great save. Corner to Burnley now. Haggy with the corner for Burnley. And ooh, I'm assuming their defender headed it. Walton with another great save. It's a little bit more quiet now. It's quieting down. Which is what I like to see. We're one new up. We're doing well. Corner for us, cleared away. Dent has getting into Holmes off, oh, just off the crossbar. Unlucky Holmes. It's a bit of a funny angle there. I didn't know what was going on. So we seem to be doing okay. Looks like we'll go into the first half one new up. We do. Lovely, brilliant. So what are we going to tell the boys? I'm happy with your performance so far. Keep it up. Yeah, sounds about right. The hands on hips and do it though. You know, like Superman. And second half, let's go. Maybe a couple more highlights this half for us would be nice. Not for Burnley, though. Burnley, no, 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 no. Zebelos not having a great game. 6.6. .6. We turn it around and get something going. I want to get Pellegrini on. So we're going to take off Parrot. Always gets a sub. We need to start playing them as well, I think. We will bring on this dude here. And then I think we're just going to let it go. Let's go. Here we go. Highlight for us now. Vanderson. Dentes down. So Vanderson. Vanderson whipping the ball in near post. Oh, what, what happened there? And it looked like Dennis hit it. Had come off the post. Back out to Villava. Who, who got the goal? Let's have a look. See, Vanderson whipping it in. Yeah, look. That did as well. Come off the post, back out, and Villa got the goal. Villa Lava. Villa. I don't know what to call him, but there we go. 2 0 against Burnley in the Premier League. Absolutely fantastic. I think that should be the end of the game there, surely. Looks like we are trying to close, close up shop. Four minutes. Yes! Great stuff. Great stuff. Another clean sheet as well, which is what I wanted. Absolutely fantastic. Let's go look up the schedule and everything else. Oh, well, let's do the dressing room team talk first, and then we'll go have a look at the schedule. So, oh, I'm not happy with your performance out there. That was actually fantastic, fellas. Well done. Outstretched arms. Absolutely magnificent out there. Nobody gave us a chance. Oh, another tunnel went to be. You've got to be pleased with the result and the performance as is impressive. Yes, I'm very. I, I thought we played very well and very satisfying. And how do you think the two teams fared against each other from a tactical perspective? I don't want to talk about that crap. Go away. Right, on to the schedule. 
So here we are with the league table. So we are currently in sixth place after playing six games. We've got three wins, one draw and two losses. And we're currently sitting on 10 points. That's absolutely fantastic. And I've only just realised Haaland plays for Liverpool in this save. Oh, crap. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the schedule and see who we will be playing in the next episode. Okay, so here we are with the schedule list. If everything goes to plan and there's no like postponements or rearranged games, we will come back for a triple header against Liverpool, Arsenal and Manchester United. So I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to click that like button, subscribe for future content, and until next time, this is Bob Oldman signing off. <laughs>